Welcome to Go Get It. Today's video session is based on C programming language and we are going to discuss the operator's precedence and associativity. I'm assuming that you are well aware of the basic syntaxes associated in C languages. So uh, we have different operators associated in C programming languages. So we'll, uh, I'll be, I'm going to share uh, the list of uh, operators with their precedence and the associativity. So you can see here the chart I have already prepared with the different operators that are used in C programming language and their precedence. This arrow shows that the precedence decreases from, bot uh, from top to bottom. And these are the associativity that is L denotes left and R denotes R, yeah, right? So left to right. So for example, uh, if we consider this operator, this uh, open and close bracket, so in C programming languages, whenever uh, open and close bracket comes, so the highest preference goes to this open and close bracket with the associativity left to right. That means whenever program execution happens in case of a bracket, the execution takes place from left to right direction. That is from this direction to this direction. And the precedence decreases means the higher precedence as it is at the topmost level and the precedence decreases as it as we go down in the chart. Now I have taken an example here which will demonstrate the uh, usage of these operators and their associativity and precedence. So mind well these kind of problems are mostly asked in gate examination. So these are very much helpful for solving the problems from the gate point of view. So we have been given here main and uh, Consider this as a pseudo code. Don't go with the uh, syntax and all. I am just printing here this printf syntax. You can see I'm just printing the variables. There is no percentage. Uh, I mean, no format specifier is specified here. So this is just a pseudo code. So let's start with the program given here. We have been given three variables x, y, and z, which are initialized to one. And the very next uh, statement is x plus equals to y plus equals to z. So how does it uh, work here? So as you can see here for plus equals to, we can see the it falls under same precedence. So where is plus equals to here? Here it is plus equals to. So it falls under the same precedence and the associativity is from right to left. That means right to left. So uh, to solve here, we'll go down and we'll see how to solve. Now we have x plus equals to y plus equals to z. So we'll consider this part as a. So we'll get x plus equals to a. And finally, we'll solve this. So as it goes from right to left, this is the associativity of this uh, plus equals to operator. So we'll solve first a, a equals to y plus equals to z. We have y and we can expand it to x. So y we have 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So y becomes 2. And then we have this expression x plus equals to a. That gives us x equals to x plus a is nothing but your y. So we'll get 2 and x is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So that therefore we get x is equals to 3. And y equals to 2 and z remains 1. So this statement gives us, you can see here, this statement gives us x is equals to 3, y equals to 2 and z equals to 1. So printf, next statement is printf. Mind well, these all statements play a very important role and uh, look at very concentratively. So our next statement is x less than equals to y question mark y colon x. So this question mark colon, I'm assuming that you are well aware of this operator. This is called as conditional operator. So how does it work? If this particular statement, you can see this x less than y, if it is true or false, based on that, it will execute these instructions. So say for example, if it is true, it will execute y. If it is false, it will execute x. So that's how conditional operator works. So here in this problem, we have x equals to 3, y equals to 2, and z equals to 1. So uh, in this case, you can see the it executes from right to left. 
So anyway, we have here only one. This complete is a single operator. So x is less than y. So 3 is less than 2. That is false. So it will execute x and it will print x. So this will print 3. Now moving on to the other uh, problems here. We have I hope you understood this. Now, similarly, uh, we have this one. So, x is less than y. So, uh, you can see here, this plus, uh, this is again a single operator. So, x is less than y. 3 is less than 2 false. So, y plus plus. So, it will display y. So, uh, we'll get y equals to 2. But as you can see here, this is a post increment operator. So the very next statement you can see here, printf x and y. So we have x as 3 and y will be printed as 3 because here post increment operator is applied to y. So here we, it will generate or it will print y equals to 2. But in the very next statement, as the y value has already been incremented, so it will print 3. Now the next problem. We have next problem here is it says z plus equals to x less than y x plus plus y plus plus so here we have two operators plus equals to this one and this uh, conditional operator so you can see here plus equals to has a lesser precedence as compared to conditional operator so what happens here first of all it will consider this as a single operator expression and then it will consider this one so first preference goes to this second preference goes to this so first of all we'll solve this x is uh, 3 y is 3 and uh, it is false so it will go here y plus plus so y becomes 3 but for the next statement y is uh, as it is a plus increment it will remain 4 and z plus equals to 3 so z equals to z plus 3 z is 1 so z becomes 4 now this printf what it will do it will print 3 y is now 4 and z is 4 you can see from this expression z has become z was initially 1 3 plus 1 becomes 4 now we have next statement as z is greater than equals to y is greater than equals to x increment operator so uh, you can judge here what will be the solution so i hope you are able to solve we'll get here the printf statement will print zero here how so what happens is first of all greater than equals to so you can see where is greater than equals to in the chart we have greater than equals to here so this has left to right precedence uh, associativity and the precedence decrease uh, of the same precedence now greater than equals to left to right so it will go this direction z is greater than equals to y this is true because 4 is greater than or equals to y this will be give you true or 1 greater than equals to x x and uh, x is 3 so what we will get here this will give you false because t this t is nothing but i mean this complete expression will generate one here and one is greater than or equals to three what am i writing here one is greater than equals to three will give you false or zero so in that case it will print zero so that's how zero is been printed on the screen the next and the very last statement here given is z greater than equals to y ampersand y is greater than equals to x so uh, let's see the associativity and the precedence. So uh, where is uh, logical and? Here we have logical and and we, here we have greater than equals. So, so definitely this has the higher precedence as compared to logical and and it goes from left to right. So first of all it will solve this. This is first preference. This is second and then third. So left to right z is greater than equals to y. We have z as 4. This will give you 1 and y is greater than equals to x we have y equals to 4 and uh, this is also true so we have t ampersand t or 1 ampersand 1 gives you t 
so printf statement will generate one so that's how uh, this associativity and precedence uh, works in c programming language this video session doesn't end here uh, we'll uh, uh, in the next session we'll continue with few more problems thanks for listening and please do mail us your requirement and uh, at uh, demand at gogetit.com have a great day